Here are some of the heart-wrenching facts as alleged in the criminal complaint. And again, I want to be clear, these are allegations at this point. One of the victims in this case was 13 years old. Let me repeat that, 13 years old, when she was sexually trafficked to paying pedophiles, sexually assaulted repeatedly by gang members, and beaten with a metal bat on multiple occasions. Further, due, the, due to the comprehensive nature of this investigation, we have communications between gang members, but how they were going to treat this 13-year-old victim. This text message dialogue can be found in the unsealed complaint. And I quote, tell him to come. I'm dying to hit that daughter of a B-I-T-C-H with a baseball bat. A homeboy in El Salvador wants to watch what happens. In another exchange about the minor victim, who is getting the joint, coca, the beer? I will get the little whores. As alleged in this criminal complaint, this 13-year-old was plied with marijuana, alcohol, and even cocaine. She was trafficked in apartments, as well as wooded areas behind apartment complexes. This took place in Virginia and Maryland. There's a few more points I want to make about our anti-MS-13 work here in EDVA, but before I do that, I want to offer my deepest thanks to the Fairfax County Police Department, who've been a partner with us against uh, fighting MS-13 for years along with the Prince William County Police Department, our prosecutors and team here at the Eastern District of Virginia. And a special note of thanks to the FBI for their incredible work and partnership. And I'd ask that acting assistant director in charge of the Washington Field Office, Jim Dawson, come forward. Assistant Director Dawson.